So on this episode, we are talking about that nasty little pinch you get behind your shoulder blade. Now How can I help you today? Before we talk about what to do about this pinch that you are feeling, let's talk a little about what it is, what you're experiencing, and how to solve for it. But before we do that, I gotta show you guys something really cool. So check this out. Oh, hold on. Look at this thing right here. Isn't that so cool? I was actually given this, oh my God, it was like 30 pounds by my mother-in-law and she knows how much that I love gems and crystals and all of that stuff and she was like here's this 40 pound salt lamp and as you guys know salt lamps do amazing things for energy and clearing energy as well as you know helping to cleanse the air that's out in our world so it helps to kill viruses bacteria etc but okay okay so back to the story about the patient with the pinch behind the shoulder blade. So it's very common, I don't know if you guys have ever experienced this, you either roll over in the middle of the night or you go to lift something off of your shelf and you feel a little pinch behind the shoulder blade there. And over time, the pinch gets worse and worse and worse to a point where it's like spasm and it hurts and you're going, oh my gosh, it feels like somebody's taking an ice pick and shoving it down in your back right here. So what do we do about it? First off, what is it? And second off, what can be done about it? So let's take a quick dive. Let me grab my handy dandy cool little spine here and I'm gonna show you guys what's going on. So this is the front of me. If I was sitting here looking at you like this or I was looking at you like this, and what I want you guys to take a peek at is these sides of the vertebrae here are called, this is the side, a transverse process. Matter of fact, if we can zoom in here, you can actually almost see, if I get my light here, you can almost see that there's like these little indentations here. And what happens is this. When you go to reach and you pull something over, or you roll over in bed, your body is being rolled over and your ribs, the actual ribs here, like that you feel like ah, in the front of your chest ribs, those guys come and they insert on the back portion of the spine. So if you guys can see this right here, they insert right there on, on the back portion of your spine. And when we roll over, those ribs, they call them the rib head, actually gets pulled off a little bit and there's a little capsule in it swells the capsule up and sitting all around the capsule are all of these little nerve endings and they hit these little bells like little and they go ding 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 and, and that causes the muscles to spasm and when they spasm all of the muscles in the back right here all on the side right here those guys tighten up the name of these muscles are your rhomboids now if you guys ever know what that is, that's the muscle that's right underneath your shoulder blade right here. Now, the question is, what can I do about them? Now, there's a couple things first off to know. Your shoulder, that's right, your shoulder that you're moving around all right here, your shoulder is not connected to the rest of your body with anything except muscles. That's right. There's no bone on bone connection. Yeah, maybe a little bit through the clavicle, but nothing else to the back of the shoulder. So it only collects via muscle. And if that rib head gets pulled out of alignment and the muscles spasm up really tight, it's going to change the symmetry between the shoulder and it's going, going to cause clicking and popping that you're getting in the shoulder as well. In addition, people that get the pinch in their back, they often feel pain that goes down their arm. So what do I do about it? Well, I'm gonna give you guys a couple of quick little at-home tidbits. The first thing, do this. Do you have a ball? That's right, a ball like this. So this is a trigger point ball. You can, you can use a lacrosse ball, a tennis ball, a baseball, basically anything that's small and hard and round. And you can take this ball and laying flat on the ground or against a wall, you're gonna put the ball here and you're gonna put it right over, right over that spot right here and you're gonna, gonna roll up and down. You're gonna roll your spine up and down. And what I always tell my patients is take a big breath in and then breathe all the way out and roll up over those areas. Number one, you'll get the muscles to hopefully relax a little bit. And second off, you can actually almost self-manipulate 
boom, that rib head back into place. The second thing you could do, this is kind of like the cheap and dirty way to do it, but the kind of the better way to do it is to get yourself one of these. That's right. If you haven't seen one of these, these are the Hypervolt. And what you can do is you can either take it and turn it on and put it yourself here, or you can have your favorite loved one take it and brrr, go up and down the back of the spine here, up and, up and down those muscles to help relieve some of the muscle tension. Now, in addition to that, if that doesn't help relieve it, Ultimately, you're going to need to get into your chiropractor's office, either your you know, osteopath, maybe even your physical therapist, and they can press on your back and press on that rib head and get it to adjust back into the right place so everything is in proper alignment. After that, guys, one more small tidbit is this. Make sure that you're stretching your chest muscles out. That's right. You got to stretch the chest muscles because why? We just talked about how the front here and the back here play tug of war. And if the front is too tight, it's going to cause the back to mold again and you're going to pull out the rib head. We don't want that to see happen. All right. So if you are experiencing the pinch behind your shoulder blade, it can be in, be in either of the shoulder blades. Try these simple at home remedies. If that doesn't fix, go to your chiropractor. And guys, if you have questions, if you have questions, ask them below in the comments and I will do my best to jump on here and answer them for you guys. As always guys, hope you're having an amazing day. Thank you so much for all the questions and comments that you guys, and please hit the subscribe button. My goal is to get to 1 million subscribers because I have a huge vision to help the world out with natural healthcare, chiropractic, and all of the good things that we have here at our disposal. All right, love to you all, mama, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.